on this board here, I have the six most hated men ever to live. Now I wonder, who might you add to this list? Is there anyone on this list here who I've missed out? Someone tell me right now. Who else would you add on this list with the most hated men? Someone shout out a suggestion. Putin. Putin? This man said Putin, okay, very good. Anyone else? Who else might you add on this list? You. You might add me. I'm a lovely boy. Why would you do that to me? Okay, anyone else? Who else might you add to this list? Who did you say? I'm just saying, who, who would you add on this list of the most hated men? Sal, okay, right, very you good. Jimmy Savile. Jimmy Savile, I've got Savile there, okay. So now, let's see if we can recognise any of these people. So, uh, number one, we're going to give a round of applause to everyone who gets it right. So, can we do a bit of a demonstration? Let's see how good your clapping is today in Liverpool. Are you ready for it? Three, two, one. Or you could just not. You know, it's a sunny day, that's fine. I won't, I won't put you on the spot. But number one, who's that? Someone tell me number one is. Hitler. Hitler. Adolf Hitler, give the man a round of applause. Okay, thank you, thanks to my friend over there. Uh, number two, who's this man? Do you know who this man was? Anyone watch Netflix? Anyone? No one recognises this? He's a very famous serial killer in America. Who was it? It's Ted Bundy, you're right. Okay, thank you, this man knows. Well done, Ted Bundy. What about number three? Sometimes people get this one mixed up. Who's number three here, my friends? Chairman Mao, this lady's right, Chairman Mao. Very, he actually, this man killed more people than any human being who ever lived. He killed a lot of people. Number four, Jimmy Savile, who's this man? Oh, I've already told you, Jimmy Savile. We all know who he is. Wicked man, did horrible things we won't even discuss. Number five, this is a trick one. Okay, for those of you going by in Liverpool, I'm asking you, can you name the six most hated men? And here we have number five, which is a trick one. Do you know who it is? Anyone know who number five is? We need to go a bit further north. This is apparently the Yorkshire Ripper. Now we don't know for sure, but this is apparently the Yorkshire Ripper. Now I've asked you today who are the most hated men, but number six is more hated than all of these people put together. Now we're going to do a bit of a social experiment now, because this is going to blow your mind. Everyone now take a look to your left. Everyone now take a look to your right. Take a mental picture. Everyone is here. There's about 15 of us. Because I guarantee that when I turn number six over, I promise you at least one person will walk on by because you cannot stand this person, because you do not want to think about this person. Okay? Are you ready for it? Now, just before I reveal it to you, it was said about this person that he was hated without a reason. So if you do walk on by, just do me a favour and think, what is the reason why I hate this person so much and I don't want to think about him today? Are you ready for it? Hey, surprise, surprise, this man said. I told you people would walk on, but let me prove something. Can you give me just two minutes of your time to tell you about this man? If you can't, then I was right all along, wasn't I? Just two minutes. Everyone now have a good look at me, okay? I'm actually a married man. I didn't know my wife was going to be here, but she is here today. That's my wife with the lovely baby there, okay? Do you think that I've ever made this wife, this, this lady cry before? What do you think? I have actually, I have made her cry, okay? You see these eyes? Do you think I've ever looked at anything I'd be embarrassed of? If that was put on this board, would I be embarrassed of anything I've ever looked at? What do you think? I would actually. Now, I know I'm a dweeb, okay? I know that, but look at these fists. Do you think these fists have ever hit anyone before? What do you think? They have actually, but now ask me this question. Am I going to heaven? I am. Not because I'm a good person, as you can see I've made a mess, but because there are two types of people that get into heaven. Perfect people and forgiven people. Now is there anyone in Liverpool today who's perfect? You're not. But every single one of us can be forgiven because 2,000 years ago, this man, Jesus Christ, was put on a cross. There he bled and died. There he took my life, your life. My blasphemy, your blasphemy. Your lust, your pride, your drunkenness, all of it was laid on Christ. And there he died on that cross so you could be forgiven. There he took the punishment for you so that you could have your sins forgiven and washed whiter than snow. On the third day, this man Jesus, he rose from the dead. And I'm asking you today, will you consider this God man Jesus? Now just before I finish, I've got one final challenge for anyone in, in Liverpool today who is an atheist. Any atheists out here today, here's my challenge. 
for you, Mr. Atheist. Are you ready for it? What would you think of me if I said to you, Harry Potter is a terrible book? What if I said, Harry Potter is the worst book in the world, but I've never read it before? What would you think of me? We'd say, read it first and then make a judgment. Please don't ever say the Bible's a load of rubbish without reading it first. And I'll give you the most precious book in the world, a portion of the Bible, John's Gospel, right now. If anyone wants it, don't be too embarrassed to take it from my hand. You can have it to read it for yourself.